All right, so in this video, I want to take a quick look, just do a uh, sort of brief uh, introduction to the observable list interface. So many containers in the JavaFX library actually implement this observable list interface. Uh, these are going to be specialized lists that can fire an event handler anytime that an item in those lists changes. So uh, eventually, I'm going to go into more detail about the observable, observable list interface and we'll see uh, some specific examples of instances where we have a list of contents in our application and we are modifying the contents and it's causing some event to fire. For right now, we're gonna go ahead and just take a look at this with our uh, some of our containers. In particular, we're gonna be doing some examples with the HBox container. Uh, so our layout containers have a get children method that will return a, an observable list of the child nodes. And so the child nodes just means all of the items, whether that's controls, or maybe other containers that are inside of it. So in the case of an HBox, that basically just means any controls or containers that you put inside of that HBox. So an example of this, we see HBox.getChildren. That's going to return an observable list of the items in that particular HBox. Uh, once you've actually gotten that observable list, you can then start applying some other methods to it. So you can do things like adding another control or container to it. You could remove an already existing controller container from it. You can clear all of the items that are currently in it. Uh, you can also use this set all method to change um, a, a particular item inside of it. Uh, we can also use a size method to check to see how many items are inside of that observable list. So for the example that I want to do, I want to go ahead and just demonstrate a couple of these methods. Uh, specifically, we'll go ahead and create an HBox with a couple of items inside of it. And we'll just kind of test out the add, remove, and size buttons just to see the general behaviors of these. So I'll go ahead and modify the, or I'll minimize this. Open up NetBeans. We're going to go ahead and create a new project. So this will be a JavaFX application. Click Next. For the name on this one, I'm going to go ahead and just make this, uh, since this will be just a very quick, simple demonstration of the observable list interface, I'll call this my OList demo. I'm going to click Finish. Uh, so now that I've got my code for my OList demo, go ahead and remove a couple of parts that I don't need. So we'll go ahead and get rid of those extra comments. Uh, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of most of these imports. We'll also go ahead and clean up the body real quick, and then I'll come back and start adding in the imports that I'll need. Go ahead and remove all of the content inside of our start method. We're going to get rid of this extra comment for our main method. Make an adjustment to the style and then go ahead and move that to the top of the class. Uh, once we've got all this, then we'll go ahead and actually add a couple of imports. So we need an hbox and some labels. So we'll do javafx.scene.layouts.hbox. And we'll do import javafx.scene.control.label. So let's go ahead and get these two imports. Uh, right here, we'll go ahead and create a couple of labels. So for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and use some very simple names. So we're going to say label, first label is going to be equal to a new label. And this is going to have the contents item one. Uh, then what I'll go ahead and do is just grab this and copy it down a couple of times. Copy that. And then change the name. So this will be first label, second label, and third label. And then change this to say item one, item two, and item three. We'll then go ahead and create our HBox. So we've got our HBox. 
this will be set to hbox no lower case equal to a new hbox we'll go ahead and give this uh, let's say something like 15 pixels of spacing between our different labels got our first label our second label and our third label we'll then go ahead and create our scene I'll call that scene in all lower case so we could do a new scene that takes the hbox as the root node uh, in this particular case since I'm not too concerned with the general appearance of this application I'm gonna go ahead and just let it use the default sizing so since it's just a couple of labels the uh, application window will be just large enough to fit these three items inside of it. We'll then go ahead and create uh, or set up our stage. So we're going to do primary stage dot set scene. So we'll take that scene object and do primary stage dot set title. This is going to be our observable list demo. And then we'll do uh, that show method do primary stage dot show to actually display the application window so we'll go ahead and save this and then we'll run it to just take a quick look so we see we've got our little tiny window right here we've got item one item two and item three go ahead and increase the size of this a little bit we can also see that title observable list demo uh, I suppose in this particular case we'll go ahead and make this just a little bit larger and a little bit taller but not like too much uh, so if we want to make this a little bit longer, uh, probably with the size of the title, we'll try something like 350 by 100. Go ahead and save that. Uh, so we'll just kind of leave it like that for now. Uh, the other thing I'm going to go ahead and do is now that I've set up my HBox, I also want to go ahead and uh, get that observable list of the items inside of it. So we're going to go ahead and do hbox.get children so we're going to see this get children method and you also uh, notice that it says that we are getting or it's returning an observable list so go ahead and do that and then what I'm going to go ahead and do is use the add method and the thing that I want to add to this is going to be another label so up here where I've created my labels I'm going to go ahead and make one more so I'm going to call this my extra label so be equal to new label and right here we're going to say extra item and then right here in this observable list for my hbox I'm going to use that kind of take advantage of that to add another label to the contents of my hbox so I'm going to say extra label we can put that in right there so now if we go ahead and run this, we will see our three labels from before, and we should also see the extra label being added to it. So we can see now we've got item one, item two, and item three, and we've got that extra item being added to it. And looking at the title, it looks like I should make this a little bit larger. So I'm going to set that to something like 400. That should be wide enough to fit that title on there. All right, so now that we've seen the add method, Let's also take a quick look at the remove method. So we're going to say hbox.getchildren.remove. And for this one, what we can go ahead and do is just specify a particular label that we want to remove. So let's say we want to take item two out of there. It's going to be that second label. Go ahead and save that. We'll run this again. And so now we can see we've got item one. We've removed item two. We still have item three and extra item. And then finally, what I want to go ahead and do is uh, we'll just use a really simple process here where I'm just going to print to the console itself. So not in the application window, but just display it in the console, the number of items that are actually in this HBox. So for this part, we'll just go ahead and do a simple system that out that print line and we're just going to go ahead and get the number of items by doing hbox.getchildren.size so just go ahead and display that to the console so we'll save this and then we'll come over here we'll run it and so we've got our three items there and then if we check inside of 
our console, we can see the value 3 printing out right there, indicating that we have 1, 2, 3 items by this point in time, because we had these 3, we added 1, so it went up to 4, and then we removed 1, went back down to 3. Alright, so this is going to complete everything for the observable list interface, and this is also going to wrap up everything for chapter 12.